Hi guys, some of you have been wondering how to set up the table of contents in Google Drive and uh, it's not totally intuitive but it's it's not that hard. Uh, and so I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, I did walk you through it in the sample document I gave you but sometimes it's easier to just uh, see somebody actually do it. So let's just assume that this is my um, title of the, the main project in my Google document. And so I'm going to hit return and let's pretend I have an, uh, an opening paragraph. And, and after that, uh, just like in the file I shared with you, uh, we're going to type a name for the table of contents. And I'm just going to call it contents here. And then I'm going to hit return. And what I'm going to do after that is go to the insert menu and choose table of contents. It's going to kind of dump this weird box into your file, and it's giving you the instructions of what to do, but if you're not familiar with using styles in any kind of word processing, then it's not going to make a lot of sense to you. I do want you to note that inside this box is a little refresh button, which we're going to come back to later. So basically what we need to do is find our first section heading, okay? And, uh, and so I've scrolled down to find that here, and all I really need to do is highlight that heading. And this area up here is where we find styles, okay? And so if we just click on that, what you need to do in order to make a table of contents is choose one of the heading styles for this subsection. So I'm gonna just choose the first one and you'll see it kind of changes the format of it uh, to make it more distinct. And then I'm gonna scroll down where I've got my second section title and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go up to styles and choose one of the heading styles. Okay. Now when I go back up to my table of contents, it looks like nothing has happened. Uh, but when I click on that box where we uh, put the table of contents, if I click the refresh button, suddenly the two titles that I uh, highlighted and changed the styles of uh, are now automatically inserted and hyperlinked in my table of contents. So as I add new subsection headings, uh, I would just have to highlight those headings and go up here to styles to change them to heading one. And again, uh, going back to the table of contents, if you click in the vicinity of it, that little box will pop up again with the refresh button. So that's pretty much how you set it up. Thanks.